seven organizations have come together in very, very short notice to take a stand in opposition to this law. We are not going to stand by and watch people being taken from this country and their fundamental basic rights being trampled over. We have huge concerns that the bill, as it's been proposed, won't meet any of the original needs, which is a clear, transparent, fair, uh, accessible immigration system. But in addition to that, we have two major concerns. One is that there is a provision that people can be forcibly removed from the state uh, if they're perceived to not have permission to be here. Today, uh, we're here at the Doyle um, to protest the government's immigration, uh, new immigration bill because we feel that uh, the, the element which is about summary deportations, that is that a person could be removed without any notice or any opportunity to prepare financially um, or emotionally to leave the state, is fundamentally wrong. The concerns we have about this is that despite the fact that Ireland has been referred to the European Court of Justice for failure to implement minimum standards on the procedures for considering an asylum claim, this bill still does not meet the procedures directive that has uh, been passed many years ago uh, at a European level. And even if it comes up to that minimum standard, that procedures directive has already been in the process of being altered in order to raise the standards again. There's a lot going wrong in Ireland at the moment. But one of the best things that's happened to this country in the last 10, 15 years has been immigration. Despite that, our current government is actually withdrawing the most fundamental of human rights from people who have made Ireland such a more, such a more um, rich place than it has been ever before. If this law goes through, we lose a lot more. Uh, we lose something much more important than our banks. We lose our sense of justice and fairness as a society, and we must stop it from happening. Thank you. Uh, we oppose what the minister had intended was that this bill be rushed through and he sought the agreement of the opposition parties. I know myself, I objected and I said that we will fight tooth and nail kind of for this aspect that you've complained about today, but also other problems that are still within the legislation. And there are huge volumes of the submissions that came from the civil society and from rights groups. And the idea that you would throw all of that away and simply bring in something that does not respect fundamental principles of international law, national law, or any form of jurisprudence is simply unacceptable. Economic circumstances must never, ever be something that in fact curtails the demand and the vindication of fundamental rights. I'm very happy to have been here. We're taking a stand. It's a bad law. It's bad for everybody. It's bad for the courts and not least it's bad for the migrants who are going to be affected by this because this affects everybody.